Okay, I'm doing it. I'm starting a YouTube channel. Um, this is our first video. It is going to be on a couple DIYs I hope you guys like. Um, we got a lot of encouragement that we should start a YouTube, so here you go. Stay tuned. First things first, ingredients. What you're going to need is two packs of gelatin, unflavored, one cup warm water, Six tablespoons of light corn syrup. I use caro or caro, however you want to say it. One and a half cup of flour. Eight cups of bird seed. I use birders blend because I didn't know what kind of birds we had in our neighborhood. Cooking spray and ribbon. First, you're going to put the two packs of gelatin into your mixing bowl. And then you're going to add your warm water. I put it in the microwave for about 45 seconds, just until it became warm and then you're gonna stir it until the gelatin disappears. Now you're gonna add six tablespoons of light corn syrup. Next you're gonna pour in your one and a half cups of flour. I used a half cup so I had to put in three of those because my one whole cup was dirty didn't feel like washing it but then you're gonna stir it and it should look pasty just like this okay so this part's gonna seem like a lot but you're gonna pour in your eight cups of bird seed and I was actually kind of nervous at this point because I didn't think all of it was going to fit in my little bowl and then you're gonna carefully stir it so you don't get it everywhere and it should become a good mixture Now get whatever cooking spray you have and spray your bunt pan. I got a mini bunt pan from Target because we live in a fifth wheel, so I didn't want it to take up so much space. Then you're gonna pour in your mixture. You're gonna put it in there carefully so that it evenly coats the whole entire bunt pan. Now go ahead and squish in all that bird seed mixture into the pan as tight as you can because you want it to get into every nook and cranny so whenever you take it out it's the shape of your bunt pan and it should look like this now you're gonna wait 24 hours and when you take it out it should just fall out because you sprayed the pan once you take it out put your ribbon over it hang it on a tree and there's your first creation Okay, next I'm going to show you how to make this beaded macrame plant holder. It is so much easier than it looks. So here is what you're going to need. I bought macrame cord and the beads off of Amazon. I literally just typed in macrame cord um, and I picked whatever one looked suitable for me. I typed in wooden beads on Amazon and I bought a 200 count I believe with four different size wooden beads. Um, you have to make sure the cord is small enough to go through the beads or the beads are big enough to go over the cord, whatever. You're also going to need a pair of scissors and your own two hands. Okay, so hopefully I make sense when I say this, but this is how I measured out my cord. I did two arm lengths, twice, and then I cut it, and that was one cord. I did this twice, so I have a total of four cords once I loop it over. So I did it like that so I made sure I had enough cord to work with. As you can see it looks very long and I have four cords. Make sure those, they're always even. Next I looped in about 15 wooden beads at the top making sure that it's still even. I took out the other cord that was looped and I brought it down a little bit and I tied it in a knot so I have a loop there because I'm planning on putting a little tassel there at the end. After you got the first step done, you are going to grab a wooden bead and you're going to put it on each cord and tie a knot after. You're just going to keep doing this throughout the whole way because that's the design I'm going for. This is how I got the bead on the cord since it was cutting it close, I could barely get it on. What I did was I either, you could lick it or you can run it under some water, dip it in a cup of water, the end of each cord 
and you're going to twist the wooden bead on and it should just go on perfectly fine. So I did the bead and knot method four times with a smaller bead and then the last one was a little bit bigger and then I knotted at the end. So after you have three groups of five beads, you are going to take each cord and you're gonna split them into two because right here is where you see three cords wrapped together. You're just gonna split it so it's into two, just like this. So you're gonna get one side of one cord and then the other side of the other cord, you're gonna put it together, string a bead through it, and you're gonna knot it at the end. Once you do that all around, it should look like this. You have a little tassel at the bottom. You're gonna brush out the bottom. To finish off this project, I grabbed a couple pieces of cord. I brushed them out so that I have a full amount for a tassel, and then I looped it over that loop at the top that we created first on the first step and then I grabbed a little piece of cord tied it at the top trimmed it and there you go the finished product first impression you so there you have it our very first YouTube video I hope you guys liked it and I hope you understood what I was saying um, the macrame beaded plant hanger was kind of hard to understand or kind of hard to explain I should say um, but I hope you understood it Zaya also does DIYs around here our little tiny fifth wheel our little tiny home um, but I never really recorded them because I didn't expect to really make videos but he's also not home right now he's coming home in about an hour here so that's why he's not in this video but this is kind of just spur of the moment. I remembered I was working on this video because I had so many people encouraging us to start a YouTube. So all of you out there who did encourage us, I hope you subscribe, I hope you like, and I hope you comment on what else you guys want to see. Um, I did record all of this on my phone, so that's why the sides are cut off. I didn't really notice that until after I recorded it all, but oh well, learn for the next time I make a video. and. Um, Thank you all for watching, and like I said, if you want to see more, whatever you want to see, comment below. Thanks, guys. Bye. Ziggy, we made our first YouTube video. What do you think about our first YouTube? He's like, what the heck is a YouTube?